Hello everyone, how are you this beautiful day, this beautiful day that the Lord has made? I'm Karen Jane Casey on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And every Friday the episodes are Karen's Book Corner, where I share with you a little bit about books I've written, maybe read a little bit, give you a backstory, or I give a review of books by other authors. And it's all designed to whet your interest in the books that I'm presenting to you. You can find my books and my blogs at my website, KarenJaneCasey.com. So today our topic is an excerpt from Stand With Your Armor On. Stand With Your Armor On is an anthology of five fictional stories by the same author, myself, Karen Jane Casey. They each depict different scenarios happening in today's world along with the choices that people make and potential consequences. What I share today is merely a short scene, a subplot really, found within my second story, Which Path Will You Take? This scene involves only one of the main characters, in fact, Emily. Emily is a schemer and has just caught another victim within her web of deceit. Here we look at her victim, Darian, an apparent wealthy gentleman who has choices to face. In the previous page, she had set up to appear as if someone had stood her up at the restaurant. Darian, dining alone, noticed her and came to her table. After chit-chat, she presented him with an investment opportunity. So I'm reading portions beginning at page 94. While deep in the clouds of Darian's mind, there were warning bells going off inside. He chose to ignore them. He did not want to take the chance that he may not see her again. In this state of mind, he heard himself say, Oh, well, I don't usually do this, but yes, I want in. I can put in the initial investment right now if you'd like. And then it goes on with, Emily expressing her gratitude, and she even got up from the table and hugged him. Still standing beside him, Emily quickly reached for the check, answering, Oh, I'll finish it for you. She motioned for the waiter to come to their table while she sat down. Let's celebrate, shall we? Darian hardly noticed that Emily had quickly tucked his check away into her purse before the waiter had arrived. Darian ordered a craft of champagne, so they were ready to celebrate. Within only moments of waiting for the champagne, Emily excused herself. I need to go to the powder room, but I'll be right back. But I'll be right back. Well, as you can probably guess, Emily did not return to the table. How did Darian react once he finally realized that he had been duped? How would you feel? Would you be angry enough to seek revenge and, you know, even yell at her and carry on? Would you be ashamed of your own blunder and beat yourself up with negative self-talk, self-loathing? There are many choices how to respond in that moment. Haven't we all fallen for, as victim, in a scheme of one thing or another? Deceit does happen. Well, he was tempted towards all of those reactions, but by the end of the day, this is what he did. And I'm reading starting at page 98. That night, Darian prayed, Dear Lord, I am grateful for the abundance you have given me and I know that I am to be a good steward over my funds, to give generously to those in need as best I can. I have failed. Please forgive me for this terrible blunder, for allowing myself to be tricked, for letting money fall into the hands of a deceiver. Although I forgive this woman, Emily, or whoever she is, and have no anger towards her, I feel the burden to alert the authorities. I want to do what is in my power to see that she cannot do this to another person. 
Once caught, she may feel conviction and repent of her ways. Please guide me, Lord. I pray for her soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Well, that is really awesome. And that's something good to emulate. But it doesn't always happen that way in real life. We make mistakes sometimes in the choices. So, in this story, you know, we, we see that he ended up with a good attitude. He was leaning on the Lord and doing the right thing to help ensure that didn't, she did not ha do this to people in the future. Darian may not have had the full armor of God on when he went into that restaurant and sat down, but he certainly did put it on before he went to sleep that night. He was not prepared for the trickery and the temptations that Emily had brought to him. But by the end of the day, he knew what to do. And he did the right thing. So, what happened with Emily in the end of this story? Did she elude the police? Did she decide to change her ways? Hmm, I guess you'll need to read the rest of the story to know. <laughs> By the way, have you noticed anything different with my advertising on this book? I it recently received a new facelift, a change in the book cover. Do you like it? I love it. We still have a woman holding an umbrella in the storm. And that continues to depict for you and me leaning on the Lord for our protection with faith and with a sword of the Spirit. Continuing to trust in the Lord through our storms in our life, in our lives. Well, this is Karen's Book Corner, available every Friday. We have new presentations every first and third Friday. As you may know, Turn to God with Karen has episodes every Monday, Hope and Faith Journey, where we find encouragement through our struggles, encouragement and healing. And every Wednesday, we have Sword of the Spirit, where I read something from the Word of God on particular topic matter. I am Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, podcaster, domestic violence, victim advocate, and ambassador for Christ. Please go to my website's contact page to send me your comments, suggestions. Any feedback is always appreciated. And I want your opinion about my book cover. To participate in any bundle deals that are happening later in February this month, including beautiful handmade beaded bookmarks for fiction and nonfiction books or various stuffed animals to match my line of children's books, you will need to contact me with your interest and with your contact information for orders. The best and easiest way to provide your contact information is through my contact page on my website, KarenJaneCasey.com. There you can ask about my bundle deals. Well, as always, you can, you can simply buy the books through my website or through Amazon.com. I'm only talking about the bundle deals where you would need to contact me to get them. Well, thank you and God bless.